Hey everyone, it's Mickey Made It, and I'm excited to introduce you to Inspired by Dreams, my preppy streetwear brand. See, this line is all about blending the classic and the contemporary, bringing you stylish pieces that are unique as your dreams. So whether you're hitting the streets or just chilling out with your friends, our collection offers the perfect mix of sophistication and urban edge. Join us in redefining streetwear fashion and let your style be inspired by dreams. Check out our latest collection and become part of the dream today. Greetings, greetings, all my dreamers and dreamettes. It's your boy, Mickey Fenty, AKA Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. Also, if you want to support the brand, it's inspiredbydreams.shop. For your ladies, we got hoodies, crop tops, we got a little bit of everything. Okay, today's episode, we got a lot to talk about. The smash and grab crisis. I'm talking about this is the thing that's taking out all businesses around the world. And we are feeling the, the, the bad end of the stick. The people that can actually go out there, work hard, and afford these things, if they want to go out there and get them, the prices are being raised, everything's going up because of this reason. So you guys, subscribe right now. We got a lot of things coming. This is just the first, and we're going to drop it on you. Smash and grab prices. Let's just jump into it. at least 80 thieves and 10 different vehicles. The terror began at 9 p.m. They strategically barricaded their cars in front of the store, blocking anyone from parking. Then they stormed in, armed with crowbars, smashing display cases, and loading up their arms with high-end merchandise. They were gone in less than 60 seconds. Officers with guns drawn catch up to one car filled with suspected looters. The Nordstrom was just one of several flash mob sprees over the weekend in the Bay Area. Dozens of looters swarm a jewelry store in Hayward. And at the luxury store Louis Vuitton, another coordinated hit. A mob escapes with armfuls of clothing. Get on the sidewalk! Get on the sidewalk! Cops respond, some giving chase, catching up to a fleeing driver. Police smash the car windows with batons and pull a suspect out of the vehicle to make an arrest. They appear to be organized groups of people, mob-like, rushing into and breaching entryways, something very, very challenging to try to push back on. Former prosecutor Marissa Rodriguez now heads an alliance of business owners at San Francisco's famed Union Square. Do laws have to be tougher? Does policing have to be bolder, more efficient? We need our police department, you know, our city officials to lean in and recognize that retail theft is not a victimless crime. This impacts all of us. Across the USA, other Louis Vuitton stores were also targeted. Outside Chicago, 14 looters hit all at once, leaving the store shelves largely bare. In New York's trendy Soho today, extra security guards line the streets in hopes of preventing similar smash and grab robberies. Get on the Anything left inside. We wanted to see just how bad this nationwide problem is. So we're using this $250 speaker as bait. And what the thieves don't know is that we're going to be hiding this GPS device inside of it. It's genius. Our other piece of bait is this Michael Kors purse. We're going to put our tracking device deep inside. It's genius. Watch as these Bonnie and Clyde wannabes stroll up and peer inside our car. They wait here for the sidewalk to clear. Then the thief throws up his hood and tries to bust out the front window with the bass puncher, but it doesn't break. So he goes for the back window and there he goes, he just broke out. First, he grabs the purse and tosses it to his female accomplice, Ra. It's bad. But he's not done yet. He reaches back in and struggles to pull out our big speaker. I can't believe this is happening right now. And just like that, he walks off with it in broad daylight. Wow! Look at this. There's glass everywhere. Time to activate our GPS unit. It's genius. Our GPS shows they hopped on this local bus. We took off after them when they got off at a bus stop. 
chase is on. He went down there. We finally catch up to them at this <laughs> subway entrance. I'm Lisa Guerrero with Inside Edition. You've got my speaker right there. You just Me? broke into our car. It's bad. What? We've got it on camera. You're going to want to give that back. <laughs> We follow him as he retreats into the subway. Five million people are going to see you steal that. It's genius. So you can choose to give it back or not. He refuses to give it back. I'm just going to call my mother. You should call your mother. That is an awesome idea. Can I talk to your mom? <laughs> he leaves it on the ground and walks off. We got our speaker back. Now we have to find the girl. You may have noticed she fled the opposite way when we first caught up to them. Back up on the gritty streets, we hone in on the GPS signal. Here we go. The purse is in this area. Some, here it is. The purse is in the trash can. And the GPS system is still in it. Take a look at this. Security footage shows a masked man ramming his body into these phone cases at Express Wireless in East Memphis Friday night. More than a dozen people followed behind him, grabbing whatever they can and leaving the store in disarray. From this angle, you see the thieves carry their stolen items to nearly 10 different vehicles parked outside the store. Ring lights, speakers, and other electronics are among the merchandise that was stolen. You can even see a few people struggle to fit those items in their cars. It's overwhelming. The wireless center is located in the Park Center Shopping Center. Everyone we showed this video to was left speechless. It's awful. That's awful. Police say when they arrived on scene, they found shattered glass outside the business and several vehicles leaving the parking lot. We're told more than $70,000 worth of merchandise was taken. Memphis police say the people in this video are not rookies. They say they believe this group may be responsible for other burglaries at retail stores across the city. Just three weeks ago, a group of people hit a jewelry store in the Wolf Chase Galleria. $30,000 worth of gold bracelets, necklaces, and watches were stolen. In November, more than 20 shoplifters stormed the Walmart on Elvis Presley and stole more than $7,000 worth of items. And that same month, thieves cleared out a Hickory Hill shoe store. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. You all should be ashamed. We spoke to an employee at the store. In order to get inside, he has to remove this sheetrock and heavy-duty chains from the front door. He didn't want to speak on camera, but says even though they're still recovering from the loss, they're still open for business. Set the store back up for you guys to rob it again.
Yeah, it's bad, y'all. It's really bad. And this is not one particular place. This is all around the world. It's, it's crazy. But it's really bad, y'all. This is one of the reasons why I, I'm just so happy to God that I think the way I think. Because nowadays when I see some people on, online and their outfits and all the logos and all the expensive stuff don't match up the lifestyle, I just look at them like a thief at the at this point in time. Because I know you didn't have enough money to afford it, or you can't or you have somebody buying that for you. And or it's probably some stolen item somebody sold with discounted. It's a shame out there, man. The world is it's we in a place where it's very dangerous, man. But I got a lot more coming for you guys. A lot more reactions, a lot more animations. Y'all know what it is. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If y'all new to this channel, y'all know what to do to this channel. Subscribe, like, and share. Love.